All right, guys, welcome back to the ALGS channel. Hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far. Good bit to dive into and discuss in today's video as we finally hit the first day of ALGS Pro League that has begun, and it started last night with the APAC South region. A lot of names that you know here from LAN, some did very well. Others really did not do good at all, and we've got to talk about how they are going to progress throughout the season. Also want to mention some roster updates and some organization announcements that have yet to take place that you can expect in the North American scene and some changes going on there as well. And when this action starts also. So if you guys want to set the date with all things going on in the Apex Legends esports scene, of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's dive into what's going on in the ALGS scene. Firstly, wanted to mention yesterday I posted my little top rankings. A lot of you disagree, didn't like what I had to say, and that was totally fair. These were your post week four results. A lot of people were confused as to why I had Dark Zero, uh, you know, higher than TSM, why I had PLP so high. And of course, these are the reasons. I mean, PLP has been doing so good. Number one team in week four, Dark Dark Zero, number two team in week four. Elevate. A lot of people got didn't like that. I put them in the honorable mentions, but they are doing that good that they're in the top three overall. TSM is not there. And of course, yes, they have been contested, but I just said, look, I understand they're the number one team. TSM team, you know, first, second, and first again. They, I mean, their land performance is incredible, right? But you can't go, it can't go unnoticed that they've been losing 1v3s to meat lovers and stuff in scrims. It's just, it, I'm just saying, as it currently stands, that's just the way I felt. And then, of course, next week, this thing can all change, right? Rankings change all the time. And so we're going to keep you guys updated as these leaderboards progress as well. But this is basically what you're looking at right now. And they've decided to switch it up a bit going into scrims. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But the first official results that we have coming from the APAC South region are as follows so this one was very exciting for me because a lot of these names were teams that have done good at land in the past for apac south and have made some roster changes in this uh you know off season so number one team boogie borders finished in first place last night with 83 points now there's two sets of points you got to notice here and we're going to discuss how this stuff works just in case you get a little confused but you may remember fussy obviously former onic esports he made some roster changes to play with some other guys and thing i think he played with moist for a short time then they made a little bit of an adjustment boogie borders are doing really good love to see that lightning unicorn probably the like best branding here i mean i don't really recognize these guys to be honest with you because i'm a little bit less familiar with it but the the, the logo itself was just too good now another team that did really good and i was surprised because of the you know context here legends gaming the brand new roster that just signed this is former black hand we knew that this team was good they finished third place at the world championship last year of all regions so we knew they were going to do good but strafing flame had eye surgery not long ago and has not played the game in over a month and yet they still get third place so really good on them this roster i look to honestly win this entire region and i think boogie borders will probably be a close second but legends gaming in my opinion is the top team for sure to look out for also divine eighth place here this is pricey and co of course pricey used to play with moist esports as well you probably remember and sharky is on that substitute it seems for now i actually did not know about that but then also some upsets this one was shocking dream fire with Rowie and all those guys that have done so well in land and had so much backing, I, I guess, of the, of the community and fan members, we thought for sure that this team was going to have some success. In 16th place, that was very uh, unusual to say the least. And I was not expecting Dreamfire to have such a bad night, unfortunately. Now you go to the overall standings and you can see this works a little bit differently, right? So if you place first place in that set you get 25 points and that's why boogie borders is at 25 points as of now then it goes on down the line right all the points get less and less the worst that you do so right now as it stands because there are a certain amount of teams that each region has to qualify for land you cannot be in the bottom eight and right now if it ended of course this is just game one right you can't even go off of this but if it ended right now these would be your 12 teams that would be making it into your land championship going into split one so very interesting stuff to say the least and i'm very excited about this divine i really can't wait to see it land legends gaming obviously i'm really excited for this organization boogie borders all these guys so that's the first group that has played we should be getting into apac north emea and then obviously north america is going to be coming 
tomorrow as well so a lot of action to still take place we did get a little bit of a scrim set to give us an idea of what this is going to look like once again group a versus group b in north america and they've decided to switch up the scrim results slightly so what they've decided to do is run eight games and then because scrims are normally six games he posted the results for six games posted the results for eight games to kind of show you how they were different but overall there's a lot of contests here you gotta you know take into consideration as well you've got the complexity in eec which is the eternal gaming those guys have been going at it and complexity has been struggling and has made a roster change that we're going to make mention of as well plp and dno also contesting over here on storm point so as you go into the results this is what you have first place for the six game results would have ended with elevate in first now of course this was like the full story gks in second tsm tied for second with third place dark zero up there as well then we go into eighth uh the eight games that they played tsm did get first in that so congratulations to them optic gaming in second elevate in third dark zero and gks still up there as well so really good and uh this is more of an accurate depiction here right so the six game results is no longer going to be super accurate because we're going to be going into eight games for the actual pro league matches another team though to take into consideration is the complexity and casual gaming you'll notice both of these teams right here 11th and 12th we have some roster announcement updates for these guys so yes if you have not seen it already it has seemingly been confirmed that lou and monsoon the fly quest duo will now be returning on complexity i did a little bit of digging last night and yes lou did play with complexity in the scrims last night and still complexity failed to have great results but they did have i will say it, it has improved complexity has been looking at the bottom of the leaderboard finally they're somewhere in the middle now so maybe after time this team can really get it together but obviously hope the best for them as well but it is also updated not only on the battlefire roster where you can see lou is here on the complexity team but also on the oversight spreadsheet where you have specific lines that dictate what category or you know uh position that these guys are here on this team so the fourth position where reptar is in is the substitute the fifth one is a coach i can't remember what the last one is maybe manager or something but so it seems like reptar is in the sub spot lou is in the player spot so it seems like this will be your roster for complexity going into year four hopefully they can figure things out hopefully things do get better for them and then also phase clan has finally seemingly signed a roster and we kind of knew this was coming i think we all expected this of course snipe down was still on phase after the whole phony effects uh, frex's issue and they went and made their own team snipe down kept the phase uh you know organization but then you had the pro league spot from the furia drop of zara and panders and it seems like we already knew snipe down was playing with them they were known as the gromps then they went to third group chat then they were known as casual gaming and now it is updated to phase it seems like phase is going to be looking at this roster and i gotta say i'm glad that phase is sticking around we knew they were going to be coming due to the partnership program that phase was already leaked to be in but i was not expecting this roster and i'm not i, I just don't know if if phase uh I, I just i don't even know what to say at this point i i just i'm not sure if i was phase and i just wanted the best roster i would have done this but at this point in the game maybe so and i'm not saying you know to throw shade on these guys but when you look at the results obviously they've got a lot to prove that you know you look at these and and they're not looking nearly as good they're down here in 26 position on p on week four results so they've got a lot to prove fans are doubting right fans want to see results and so now that they're in this position they got a lot of pressure right phases on them and they want to see some good results as well hopefully that does take place but interested to see what you guys have to say about all the topics down in the comment section below of course like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with action at the algs don't forget we're going to be doing a watch party for north america first match of pro league on twitch.tv slash j miles you guys can go down to the link description below to find it and we'll be live right when the matches start and i think that's going to be at 6 p.m eastern or so so see you guys in the next one take care of yourselves and until next time we'll see you all later gators